It's time for one of our favorite segments, Indie with Kids with our friend Katie Mann. And today, this is a great topic because she's helping you find some getaways that you can drive to that aren't too far from our area. Yeah. Hi, Katie. How Hi. Are you doing? Glad to be here. What amazing resources do you have for us today? Well, I want to tell you, I'm going to start with probably my favorite, uh, the tree houses in Mohican. Our okay. family got to go there. My in-laws took us a couple years ago. And um, some of these tree houses are actually on Treehouse Masters. Oh, so the cool. one that our family stayed in was on Treehouse Masters. Um, and so you get to go, this is a kid video. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I have to say that right there. It's good. Um, so uh, a kid tour of our, our tree house. So they have tree houses for people. Our family of six fit in this one. They have very few for large families. Okay. Um, but if you have a smaller family, like three, four people, they have tons of options for you. Look at your view. Oh, Look cool. At that. You're going to have all of the comforts of home. There's plumbing. Yeah, um, nice. Bathroom, Good. air conditioning, heat, whatever you need. Um, ours had a kitchen in it. So That's lots and lots of fun. Awesome. Plus, there's some things to do around there. Now, their, their high season would be summer, of course. Okay. But you can still go kayaking yeah. and do a lot of fun things there. There's a lot to look at. And then not yeah. too far away, um, it's, probably, it's probably about 30, 40 minute drive. Um, is Mansfield, and you can go oh, on yeah. the Shawshank Trail. Fun. And cool. so if uh, the adults are into that uh, Stephen cool. King book, they can check that out. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot to do in the area that's um, outdoorsy. This is the castle, Okay. Um, Landles wow. Mohican Castle. This man, there was no floor plan, no um, blueprints. He just knew that he wanted to build a castle in the U.S. inspired huh. by his uh, European military tours. Yeah. yeah. So they just built it and they keep building onto it and you can stay there as well. Um, That's or you cool. can just go have lunch there and have a tour. Look so at that happy little caterpillar right I know, there. so I happy. Know. Another happy. kid video. I love sharing my kids' videos with you guys. They do a really nice <laughs> job. They do a good job. Thank you. Yes. Uh, next up, we're going to go to Louisville, another very close place to visit. Yeah. Lots of things to do. Um, we visited the bat factory where you can watch baseball bats be made. You get to take home one. Cool. Um, that's fun. You can go to Churchill Downs do the Kentucky Derby Museum tour. They also have this place called the um, the Louisville Mega Caverns. Okay. I don't have a video for you, but it's the largest um, fully underground zip line in the world. Wow. So, or maybe the only one in the world. Okay. Um, but you're going to go 10 stories underground. They have these tours you can ride on carts around and like learn about these caverns. Cool. And, and why they exist. How it's the fun. largest building in Kentucky. It's considered a building because it's so big and, okay. and so safe. Cool. Um, yeah. And then about 40 miles away is the Bernheim Forest, right. which is a neat place to visit. They have these um, really fun things to do. You can go out on above the tree um, treetop canopy. You'll be 90 cool. feet out Look at that. above it. That's you can neat. climb the um, oh the the fire tower. I don't know yeah. if you ever wanted to do that. Um, but then look at these giant <laughs> creatures that you can go find in the They're forest. Neat. So lots and lots of fun things to do in and around Louisville. Okay. And then uh, we went to Milwaukee, and you know this because yeah. I went right after the show one day, uh, and we'll get to what you told me to go do. But yes. first, okay. Milwaukee Public Museum, it's a natural human history. They have tons of historic dioramas for people to experience, like, different times of, of human history yeah. and Neat. natural history. Um, and then they have the Butterfly Garden, which is great. Another great place to go is the Milwaukee Art Museum. They have a children's art studio that you can explore. And then one of our favorites was Discovery World in Milwaukee. Um, it's a science and technology museum right cool. on the lake. Yeah. Uh, they actually have a, a schooner, an 88-foot replica that your kids can wow. kind of go and explore. Oh, that's, oh, that's um, It's the largest aquarium in in uh, Wisconsin. Okay. And then let's talk about where you told me I had to go when this you found really out. This is really cool. Yeah. We went to the National Bobblehead Museum. Yeah, it's a Hall thing. Fame. <laughs> yeah. Ryan loves bobbleheads. Man, Ryan it's really loves. cool. So we went there uh, at uh, Ryan. <laughs> Look at them all. Look, there's what over 10,000 in their collection, yeah. including a life-size one. So there's a lot to see, and they have like a seek and find. So if you oh, take your fun. kids there, you can go earn a prize. It's cool. Uh, they can go try to find these. It was very difficult, I will tell yeah. you, because Ooh, there are yeah. so many of them. Um, and while you're there, the, the Milwaukee Brewers, you can hit up a game. Nice. You can go to the, uh, I'm not going to say this right, the Sprecher, Sprecher. Uh -huh. beer yep, tour. Yep, yep, yep. Um, free soda for the kids Fun. and uh, four beer samples for the adults. So does our friend Beth and her family. Yeah, they went that. we know Beth. Um, so lots and lots of things to do. 
not too far away from Indy. That's great. Yeah. Share some of the, the trips that we take in this year so I you can it. get some more ideas. Yeah, so. IndyWithKids.com is where you can learn more. Give her a follow on social as well. I'm going to check out those tree houses. I know. Ohio. Those Gotta are awesome. Do it. You Gotta always do give it. us such great ideas. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. Thanks, Katie. Thank yes, all her information is right there. Still to come, registered dietitian Caitlin Wong is going to dispel some common nutrition myths and teach us some pro tips for making better choices for our health.